In the future world, virtual reality technology is highly developed by dripping a drop of no no. I drop it into the eye, your consciousness can be quickly sent into exclusive customized virtual world. Even just being home, the consciousness can go to any corner of the world you can enjoy. The gentle ocean breeze in Hawaii, or experience the excitement of skiing in the Alps, hike in the primeval forest, or experience the fun of flying at one zero meters high. The coolest thing is that the virtual world of time is infinitely elongated, where a year is only equivalent to a minute in reality while others have their lunch you can travel across mountains and rivers no longer need to go in the line for soaring in Disneyland wouldn't you want to have these mysterious eye drops don't be in a hurry to answer after the movie today you might have a different answer this movie brings you an unpopular science fiction suspense movie about virtual reality with constant twists the developer of this virtual technology is Jesse the process is about to activate five days later and Jesse is doing the final tests but in the experience of skiing project there was a bug Jesse is trapped in it forced to repeat the same day experience over and over again. Her consciousness nearly collapsed, her body has begun to spasm and twitch Jessie keep telling herself that everything was just a hallucination and finally wake up from the illusion Jessie soon found out the programmer who wrote the wrong codes that caused the program to go wrong after fixing the loophole she secretly brought a tube of special eye drops to the hospital. It turns out that Jessie's original intention of developing this technology was not to earn money but just to wake her brother for years ago the sibling went diving and an unexpected accident happened her brother hit the reef and drowned thus unfortunately being in a vegetative state flying in a hospital his sister felt so guilty for not being able to save her brother so she wanted to revive him by reconstructing modifying his drowning memory however this research costs a lot of money so Jesse gets a few shrewd and capable partners including Sam Jesse drips the Ninoi drops into her brother's eyes whose eye then moved a little Jesse was immensely surprised with joy but when she returned to the company she was condemned by. Her partners they found out about Jess's theft of the potion and were angry at her sneaky use of the potion. Now the company is in an economic crisis before the product has gone online some. Ask Jesse to immediately develop a virtual prison system to meet their urgent needs so that a full year's sentence can be completed in just one minute. But Sam is rejected by Jesse. The reason she was willing to bring the technology to market was not only to make money but also to broaden the horizon of. The users trapping a person's consciousness in a virtual system was not her original intent. Attention. Not to mention that their technology was still immature and the program might still have. Loopholes Jesse's concerns were not understood by Sim that had a big fight and parted on bad terms after returning home. The one that Jesse specially developed for her brother, her boyfriend, used just one drop and his whole body starts twitching and fell unconscious. He was pronounced dead shortly after being sent to the hospital after the incident. The police are about to accuse Jesse of improper use of drugs. If convicted, she would be sentenced 10 years in prison. However, Sam reached an agreement that Jesse could become the first inmate in the virtual prison. As long as she agrees stay inside for a year, let the company collate relevant tests either and the Justice Department will withdraw the charges against her. The programmer has completed the development of the virtual prison system as long as Jesse agrees the plan can start immediately. A year was equivalent to just one minute in reality and Jesse had no reason to refuse such. A cost-effective deal with the potion dripping into her eyes, her consciousness was locked into a dark narrow cell with a large screen in front of her showing the date of her sentence there were some water and toiletries in the cupboard a yoga mat and an electronic writing pad on the floor on the first day jesse was confident and passed the time by exercising and writing 24 hours later she was awakened from sleep by a flashing red light on the screen jesse looked around to find everything reset to be exactly the same from yesterday jesse had a breakdown she couldn't take it anymore there are no recreation not even wine it is much more difficult than a normal prison the days are lonely desperate and long to keep herself from breaking down she wrote code crazily for distraction and imagining that someone was having conversations with her by talking to herself Jessie made it to the last day but just when she was full of joy and thought she was about to regain her freedom the numbers on the big screen suddenly reset and changed from 365 back to one Jessie completely collapsed she went crazy and smashed everything and then sat down paralyzed with despair suddenly there was a breeze she looked closely and found that a gap was smashed out of the closed cell she climbed out along the gap the outer part is a spacious abandoned warehouse. Jesse looks around surprised to find a room full of mineral water and cans while another room is full of monitoring equipment 12 cameras around the clock without dead ends to monitor her cell. Jesse then realized that this was not a virtual space at all but the real world she was really imprisoned. What the hell was going on here and who was imprisoning her footsteps came from outside and took charge. She grabbed the car keys from his desk and drove away. When she found her old office it was empty. Jesse then returned to her rented 
department but found that it had been rented to someone else. She had to come to the police station to report the crime. But when the police came to the warehouse, the cell and food surveillance has long disappeared. Leaving no evidence and no clues, desperate Jessie found her best friend for help, and she learned to. More news first Sam not only launched a virtual travel system but also applied virtual various fields including patrol justice education and even the underground industry now the company's stock is soaring to Sam is a newly rich man secondly his boyfriend did not die at all he stayed in the hospital for a few days and totally recovered it was all the work of her partner Sam he had carefully designed this huge plot to imprison her in order to steal her research results with the help of her best friend Jesse finds her boyfriend and sneaks back into the company with him to get her hard drive back the code in the drive can be used to wake up her brother Jess's only wishes to save her brother she finally perfected the code in the prison Jesse came to the hospital after having the drops her brother finally opened his eyes but Jesse did not have time to be happy her brother suddenly hold up his whole body in convulsions Jesse immediately realized that the program does not modify her brother's memory in the virtual world the brother is constantly repeating the experience of drowning pain looking at her painful brother Jesse finally decided to let go she cried and pulled at the other side of the oxygen tube. Looking at her brother gradually losing breath, Jesse fell into a deep thought. Jesse's father was the founder of virtual technology, but the old man finally chose to give up because in his father's view, this system has serious vulnerabilities. First of all, the security risks if used frequently or used improperly, it could cause epilepsy or even brain death. The second is the moral risk. His father was worried that the virtual technology would be used in an illegal way. So he kept advising Jesse not to touch the technology. She always thought that she could optimize the technology and avoid the risks things have proven that all her efforts are in vain. Meanwhile, Sim suddenly appeared in the ward and said some strange things with virtual drugs who wants to face reality after hearing that a virtual reality began to appear in front of Jesse's eyes. She suddenly realized that she was still in the virtual world. A moment later, Jesse finally awoke from the illusion. She opened her eyes and found herself still sitting in the company's test. Her boyfriend had really died and she had been put into a virtual prison, but Jesse's subconscious mind did not want her boyfriend to die and herself in jail while also worrying that her father's prophecy will come true so there was a virtual experience afterwards this is the most frightening part of the virtual system it can peek into the user's deepest expectations and fears thus interacting with the subconscious mind and make a fake dream after this jesse finally made up her mind she told sim she wanted to terminate the research with a shocked face and questioned what she had gone through i suddenly give up such a promise in research jesse didn't explain but sam was still not willing to give up he carefully studied the monitoring data and accidentally found Jess's jailbreak behavior in the virtual world which is enough to show that the virtual program is not set in stone it is able to interact with human subconscious and fabricate even larger worlds Sam was excited by this discovery in order to call up more data he tricked Jesse back to the lab and then put eye drops into her eyes while she was unaware Jesse was once again thrown into the virtual prison but this time she had a clear understanding of the logic of the system and began to manipulate late the program in her own will time began to fly inside the virtual prison and soon jesse woke up at this time sam was still observing the data on the computer jesse took the opportunity to wipe the residual potion in the corner of her eyes into sam's as she wanted him to experience the horror sam was also put into the virtual prison experience the fear and loneliness he has never before in just one day sam had a mental breakdown his body began to twitch in pain and so in a continuous breakdown and convulsion sam survived a full year of virtual time thinking that everything was about to end when the numbers on the screen once again restarted. Like Jesse once did Sam let out a hiss of despair that's when Jesse finally gave Sam an injection of the releasing dose waking him up from the infinite loop of nightmares Sam could not calm down for a long time then he also made a decision to give up the research soon after Jesse came to the hospital with her father and plugged her brother's oxygen tube and he leave the world in peace. After all the experiences Jesse completely put down her heart and also figured out that the living is just an illusion someone said say that virtual time is a low version of inception. Virtual technology in the film will soon become reality with such a realistic virtual world who is still willing to face reality. Well that's it for today. Please subscribe and see you next time.